everyone. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Civilization Six with yours truly, Bundeser Bob and Ben Magnus. Say hello, Ben. Hello. So we were ragging on Hoi Four a little bit more, I think, in the last episode. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, no. Let me rephrase. You were ragging on Hoi Four. I was listening and enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> that well, was the order of operations. Well, well, what we were talking about was there's they released some new information about um. Uh, together we stand i think it is uh the new dlc that's going to be coming out you know like before like the end of the year or something like that mm -hmm. and and be, the, by my whatever I, whatever whenever they tell me anything uh, i always keep coming back to the same thing it's like i understand that you're you're doing your normal operating procedure and cranking out dlc for these games i understand that and considering you know how amazing eu4 is now compared to what it was like four or five years ago I, I understand the business practice. I understand where you're going. I appreciate it rather than, you know, doing what other companies do and, you know, crank out the same tired old game every single November with some slightly different mechanics and then face planning on it and then doing the exact same thing the next year. I appreciate <laughs> that you're doing something different and I appreciate where you're going with it, but you need to fix the broken things before adding in new content or what you're going to end up doing is you're just going to be polishing a turd. It doesn't work, so we add more features to it. Okay, it's still like a fancy wrench covered in poop. <laughs> there, there's a, I, 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 I don't know why. It's it's like video game apologists these these days. Jesus Christ, um, who will just accept the game? <laughs> Seriously, if you if you would ex accept a game in a subpar state. And tell me that it's it, it's good and it's worth the money and it's worth playing and that it stands up to uh, scrutiny compared to other titles when it clearly doesn't. You are an apologist and you are part of the problem. <laughs> am, 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 am I wrong? Is it is, people consumers vote with their wallets? And if you're paying money for something that is substandard, you are part of the problem because you are voting for something with your wallet that does not work. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know if, uh, you know, I, I I would totally use that for, uh, what the fuck is that? Wait a minute, why is the balloon on a transporter? Shouldn't it just fly? Uh, fuck if I know, Bob. Anyway, that was a squirrel, but anyway. Uh, has been around forever. I mean, it's 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 art, right? I mean, it, it, games are art. You know, to, so. to a point, yes. I can, I can, I can agree with that. So you're in, and you're saying, yeah, it's subjective. I mean, it's not like it's a toaster, you know. I, <laughs> <laughs> you toasters know, seem I, to come up a lot these days. Need more toasters. The fine Italian toasters or French toasters. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, and you know, because the yeah, video games to a point are art, but I mean, at, at another <laughs> point, it's 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 a technology. And there's there there's you know a working state and a non-working state uh, you know a a functional state and a broken state and there's not much wiggle room in the middle when you're talking about code. Yeah, I I don't know if 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 what you're you're saying going on about I I frankly think that you you're just uh, you've got a lot of pent up emotion because. Um, of your your uh, long history with Hoy Three, <laughs> quite frankly, that's, you mean, that's what because I think. I'm a fedora wearing, latte sipping elitist. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that, but I... <laughs> if anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, that was an actual comment I got on one of my Hoy Four videos. Is it really? Yeah, I don't actually don't In actually wear context? a fedora. Hmm. In what context? Like, why? Why was that a comment? It was. You got? It was when I I was complaining about one of the numerous broken features in Hoi Four, and I believe at the point I was talking about how um, airplanes don't don't fly from point A to point B; they materialize at from point A in point B and skipping over any inter intermediary places. I was complaining about that, and somebody basically was like, "No, this is perfect. It's so much better than it was in Hoi Three. You're just a you know fedora wearing latte sipping." There's <laughs> there's a bunch of other there's a bunch of other ones in there, but that's all I remembered. That's amazing. 
because, <laughs> <that comment. laughs> because I was the well the situation was that there was like I think I was playing Germany and there was like British bombers flying from England over occupied France into the Mediterranean to bomb my ships but I couldn't intercept them in the like 80% of the route where they were you know flying over occupied territory <laughs> And it gets even worse if you talk about port strikes because they don't materialize in a specific area. They materialize directly over the ships in that harbor, but nowhere else. Yeah, I think there's specific to, to the things like that. Some of those systems, I think, do need some improvement. You know, like, you know, planes materializing at point A, skipping points B and C and appearing in D. You know, like that That sort of thing, I think, does need some revision or some rethinking mm -hmm. in order to make that have make more sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, whether it was intentional or not, who knows? You know, I, I imagine there there was there were considerations made to make sure the game was stable in multiplayer. Though the Hoy Three was actually fairly stable in multiplayer when you just you and I playing, as I recall. Yeah, um, it was. At least I mean, we were playing embargo launch day, and it was we didn't have any stability problems. No, no, no I'm talking about our Hoy Three series. Oh, Hoy Three, sorry. Well, I, what, what I was doing is comparing and contrasting, you know, design decisions. You know, like what mm -hmm. what was in Hoy Three that's not in Hoy Four that Hoy Four perhaps sacrificed. Or cut First corners on to make stability. it more stable, mm -hmm. right? And and so far, I mean, maybe it's just because I, we have you know pretty good rigs, and you know I have a huge pipe, internet pipe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I must say, Bob, you want to elaborate on that? <laughs> Quick clarification, for everybody listening. Some sometimes I forget that not everybody's in on like the intra-channel jokes. It's true. So I, for, for those that are unaware, I typically host the. Uh, the community games on Saturday because I've got a really big uh, uh, internet pipe. I've got a lot of bandwidth available yeah. uh, to me, so a lot of people can ride my pipe. So now everyone's on the end of the joke now. Yes. Uh, and but but uh, I think the point Bob was uh, uh, making there before we went off on a tangent is that there we didn't have any stability problems playing vanilla playthrough. None. I think you had a runtime error once, but that was it. Yeah, but it, I think it was like a minute into recording or something like that, and we were just like, oh, fuck, I didn't know big deal. Yeah. There's some things I would certainly like to see in a future patch, you know, like the, the way how the way supply works in Hearts oh, of Iron 3, I think, makes more sense than it does currently in Hearts of Iron 4, which is um, you can build a tank, and the tank will have all of the gas it'll ever need for its lifetime as soon as it rolls off the assembly line. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good to go. Now, there's there's still like some sort of supply consumption, but I feel like it's a little more abstract because there's no, like you don't have like a fuel stat in in Hearts of Iron Four like you do no. in Hearts of Iron Three. Like you have you have crude oil and that turns into uh, actual fuel, right? That's that's what happens. I think also the combination of energy. I think you need energy and crude oil and then turn that into fuel, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's like something like that. I like to see in Hearts yeah, of Iron Four. I. I, I... I, under, I I fully understand why they did not want to go with, you, you know, verbatim the supply system from Hoi 3, because I'm pretty sure, like, I am one of maybe seven people on the planet that fully understand, or at least mostly understand, how that system works. Because it requires, like, a, a lot of abstract, out-of-the-box thinking and, like, deep knowledge of heretical thought. Um <laughs> for 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 you to understand how and why supplies move in that game and where they're going and it's not an ideal system because of that um but but there's a lot of intermediary between the really complex system in Hoi 3 and the extraordinarily simple uh, system in Hoi 4. What I think would be really good is if they, if you actually did have to produce supplies, so bullets and beans, beans and bombs, um, and fuel. So you had a stockpile of just supplies. You don't need to, you know, get into the granularity of it. Um, and uh, a supply of fuel, and again, you don't need to get into the, you don't need to have jet fuel or aviation fuel and, you know, you know tank fuel and stuff like that. You don't need to have the different kinds of grades and whatnot. You just need just supplies a fuel. and you need fuels and you need to have a stockpile. And you do need to spend your your oil and your, your steel and, you know, your energy and whatnot to produce that stuff. And, and but, but the, the, the gist of it is that you need to... Be, you need to be forced to transport that stuff in some way to the front lines and actually have it matter. 
Yeah, I, I wholeheartedly agree with all of that. That's that's a big problem I have with that game is that is basically um, uh, infrastructure exists on a state level, not an individual province level, which I think is kind of ridiculous uh, because a, a highway doesn't go through a state that's 400 miles wide. It goes it's it's you know, it goes through a very specific area. And um, what am I doing here? A unit needs orders. What are you a traitor? Traitor. I lost my train of thought. And you need to be that you need to be able to, you know, mimic those supply problem situations in World War II, which were a huge, huge, huge part of undertaking a global war is dealing with supply. I just want the Pripyat marshlands to matter, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, that, that that I mean, in in Hoyt three, the Privet Marshlands are a either a uh, an you know an impassable obstacle to go around or a um, a bastion, depending on which side you are, a you know uh, a bastion in a sea of open plains where you can uh, you know put up a, a a decent defense, and it's not a good idea to get bogged down in the marshlands because you're never gonna get your fucking things out of there. But you know, mount, mountains don't mean anything. Marshes don't mean anything. Forests don't mean anything. Terrain basically doesn't mean anything in Hoy Four. It's a slight modifier to attrition. That's basically it. Which is not ideal. Movement speed, uh, attack, and defense modifiers need to be well. Weather. Oh God, weather. Weather needs to be a thing. Well, I think the Black Ice mod for Hoi 4 is kind of onto something with its highly diversified uh, production um, mm -hmm. needs that you it's it's been introducing and and such. It's not it's it's very it's starkly different from what you have in the Hearts of Iron Three Black Ice, which Hearts of Iron Three Black Ice really seems to be. Um, Division Comp still still matters to Black uh, Black Ice Hearts of Iron Four, but not not as much as it does Hearts of Iron Three. It matters more about ensuring that everyone's got the production needs that or the production that they need there, there's more emphasis on production in black in black ice hearts of iron 4 as, as there really is in general in hearts of iron 4 uh for all the little bits and bobs and stuff that you need uh mm, for awesome. stuff um I, I i feel like there's plenty of potential to put that stuff in there but I'm not entirely convinced if I believe that's something that's ever going to happen, frankly. It, it seems to me like Koi 4 is, is deliberately supposed to be, you know, your, your, your gateway drug to Paradox titles. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I don't feel that that's... A, a, I'm, not, I'm not comfortable making that particular assertion. I am. With... <laughs> Well, you're you, and you're just full of, you know, spite. <laughs> spite and salt. <laughs> and, so, you know, I've, I, I built my channel playing Hoi 3. I, I'm pretty attached to the game. I've had it for a long time. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, it's it's one of my favorite time periods to, you know, you know learn about and talk about and things like that. And it's, the fact that it doesn't, it, it hasn't been done justice, I don't feel, just does, it rubs me the wrong way. Simplifying something that complicated just rubs me the wrong way. I'm mostly talking about the supply issue there. Well, it would slow the game down, I think, which would be, I think, healthy for it. Mm -hmm. The game... The the game would be a good deal more entertaining if you couldn't rampage across half the world by, like, 1938. It, it needs... There needs to be something in there to slow things down. I don't mean slow down how fast you can go to war and, you know, fabricate a claim and things like that. I mean, how fast you can physically move units across the map, mostly. Um, it gives really... When it gives you, um speeds of units they're crazy high crazy high like it'll show you a tank and it'll say like it has a, a speed of 20 kilometers per hour and like yes maybe that vehicle could physically move 20 kilometers an hour 
flat out of the plane <laughs> level on terrain a flat plane <laughs> on a clear day on a you know a paved road in the middle of germany but you know when you're talking about combat maneuvers a unit's not going to be moving at the fastest speed of its fastest unit because you've got like 10,000 combat troops in, in a division or something like that. And then you've got another 10,000 support units behind them that are, you know, dragging typewriters and toasters. Nazi toasters. Yeah, lots of Nazi toasters. Um, I feel like uh, uh, there's a couple tweaks to the game, you know, you know, not big, not big deals, but a couple tweaks could definitely do it, and that's uh, weather. Uh, weather needs to be important. Um, I know there's a weather system in the game, but for, what I would honestly really like to see is weather, like, expressed on the map. Like when you see, like a snow, a big snowstorm blew in, it actually showed up on the map in a uh, a significant way where you're like, oh fuck, my units are not going to be able to move in a goddamn blizzard. And they're all going to freeze to death. Are there any other YouTubers that have expressed the same opinions at all on this? I don't fucking know. Because that would be worth investigating. That would be worth investigating. But I don't have enough clout to matter. <laughs> uh, well, you know, maybe. I don't know. I'm, get, I'm getting a little cloudy, but I'm not clout enough. <laughs> So much cloud, cloud as a toddler that hasn't been fed. Um, weather, uh, terrain, um, adding in impassable regions would probably be ideal. Uh, you, you know, like where so you can't drive tanks up, you know, the, uh, up fucking Everest across, across the Sahara. The yeah, across. <laughs> there needs to be impassable terrain, or you need to be able to actually have to build the infrastructure in there to uh, to, to to you know move into that area. That that would be good. So weather. Um, weather terrain, and that's mostly like, and you know, in in game wise, that's that's just balance. That's tweaking numbers, um, and and you know, if you really want to get fancy, it's adding in some, you know, changing up the the UI a little bit. But it's not anything major. But I don't know if it's in their, you know, like um, their their design template basically for what they want the game to be to do that. If they, if it means slowing things down. Being able to Ooh, play the game in the afternoon fishing. and all that. Hmm? Being able to play the game in an afternoon and all that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I didn't know that was a thing to worry about. St. Petersburg has rebelled against me. Well, dang. Gotta, gotta call the, the, the herd there. Gotta show the natives what's up. Um, I don't have any units over here. Uh, I've got, I got a siege tower. I don't think they'll be impressed with that. What is this? It's a barbarian machine machine gun. Um, barbarian machine a, gun. Yeah, shoot him. Yeah, shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, can I buy a unit in here? I'd like to buy a unit, Al. Uh, I can. Who can I buy? I'll take AT tank crew for five hundred. AT crew for twenty four hundred. Some of the outskirts of our cities are still using like these stone buildings. Well, well we've got uh, some really fancy high rises in like downtown. Oh shit! Uh, didn't but it didn't put it in the city. It put it in the little military barracks. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, do you get to shoot this turn? No. Can my apostle do anything? God combat. Um, no, my boss, my apostle can't hit them with lightning bolts. Okay. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt. That's a shame. A recent news article for China reveals it's trading with France. Fuckers. Lack of amenities. Okay, so that's why they rebelled. They didn't have enough toasters. Open fire. Please open fire. <laughs> there you go. I'll think about it. Okay, so oh, I've, I've, I've unlocked the secrets of the machine gun now. So let's oh, see if fuck. I can... What can I upgrade here? 
You can be AT crew. So who turns into a machine gun? Is that field cannons? I think. Yes. I think it does. You guys do the thing. Become become another thing that's not that. You guys can turn into AT crew for a whole bunch of gold. Let's do that. I've got a lot of gold sitting around, so we can we can spend a lot of cash on this stuff. So you all turn into something else. You guys have been wielding pikes for a few hundred years. Yeah. Okay. You guys well, that that out. was unfortunate. Um, <laughs> I attacked a mechanized infantry with my AT crew, and they died. That's not, think, how, that's not how you think a works. rocket launcher would be good against a APC, but okay, logic failed me there. Well, you gotta remember this is this is Civ. This is a little more rock paper scissory. Okay, bomber, build a bomber. Yeah, there's a little more gamey going on than uh, than historical black ice thing going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your note to self, rocket launchers don't do anything against APCs. You guys better not wreck my airport. I'll be displeased. Barbarian AT crew. Who gave barbarians anti-tank? Probably me. Why'd you do that? Why you gotta arm the natives like that? I don't know. Unit available for promotion. No, you're not. Are you? No, you're not. You was told it could be anything growing up. Is it? Where is it? Is it in here? No. Name unit? No. All right. Um, go farm some rice. And no, that wasn't. That wasn't being racist. That tells some guy to actually go farm some rice. Well, I mean, you're not playing in Asian civilizations. I, how is that going to be racist? I did, I did beat the shit out of Japan. Well, no, <laughs> I, I didn't really beat the Great, shit out of Great, I don't see your them. screen, but I don't think you were talking to Japan when you said that, though. No. NASA spent millions of dollars inventing the ballpoint pen. Catherine Medici, you keep coming here with some really shitty deals. I'm just not going to respond to them anymore. Oh, God, I hate this quote. NASA, I just researched the space race, and the quote is, NASA spent millions of dollars inventing the ballpoint pen so they could uh, write in space. Russians took a pencil. There's a reason you're not supposed to use pencils in space. It's because graphite flakes off, and because you're in space, it floats around, and little tiny graphite flakes squirge, squeezing their way into your controls can make them short out and kill everybody. Yeah, that's a... Uh, it's taken completely out of context. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have a free policy slot. Uh, what do I want to put in here? What do I want? What do I want? Uh, do I want another you... combat and more military policies, I wonder? Stadium, stadium. All tiles in your civilization gain appeal. How appealing am I? Um, I think you can build a thingy. Choose a uh, civic. Social media. I'm going to invent f MySpace or Friendster, whatever came first. <laughs> My face. Spacebook. Space. Uh, whatever came first, I'm inventing it. Everybody trade with Sparta. I'm going to go find uranium. Our uranium is pretty good. <laughs> What's our uranium? You should probably be asking, like, what, what, what's an atom? What are molecules? Well, we know what molecules would be by now. Pillage road, pillage, pillage, pillage. Well, you can just do that. Fortify, fortify, fortify. Uh huh. Just went on a spending spree and upgrade everybody to the latest units that I can afford. Yeah. Everybody, you're an AT crew or machine gun of some kind. You have nothing else in your military. I have a balloon. I have a military balloon. France has built a spaceport, researched rocketry, and launched an Earth satellite. What? According to the Science Victory. Joe, god damn it. All right, I was gonna, I was gonna piece him out. Now I think I need to smack him down a notch. <laughs> Did 
Definitely think they need to pay a little bit. I'm just going through the world rankings, seeing kind of where everyone's at here. Already, no, god damn it. Fire. Because you were, you were building a spaceport, weren't you? Yeah, I think I did. I, fin I think I may have finished it. Yep, those assholes pillaged my arrow dome, those jerks. Pillage road, pillage. Okay, pillage road. What did that do? Did that do anything? I don't know if that did a single damn thing. What is this? What is that? What is that? Spy captured. Okay, fuck. <laughs> Spies are commodities. You just trade them for things. Yeah. Anti, uh, French anti-tank unit and barbarian anti-tank unit just f sitting there firing rockets at each other. R Russia used a knight to clear out a barbarian outpost. Good, good, good for you. Good for you. <laughs> so patronizing. <laughs> exactly. That's just so adorable you did the dig, Russia. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. You think you're, that's cute. You think you're a real boy. Okay, got one barbarian dead. Bar, bar, uh, bar, bar. To fire at the dinghy. Oh, cor wow. Guys, I still need more trade routes. Damn it. Yeah, I'm at eight of eleven. I keep mine keep getting plundered by barbarians. Plunder. No, oh, I stole all their culture. The barbarian culture. Uh, I stole some French culture. Oh. By pillaging, I don't know, stadium or something. I stole uh, their, their, yeah, that sports team's, I don't know, jerseys or something. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, this soccer team is now our soccer team. <laughs> God, it's that'd be a weird... equivalent of stealing their banners. That'd be a weird conquest. <laughs> like, spoil of war. Ah, uh, yes, we've inherited their football team. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Right, keep firing on Calais. Uh, need you guys to do the thing over to the other thing where. Who can make me the most money? You can make me the most what money. What does exercise zone of control mean? Uh, maybe you kick a unit out of the hex? I don't know. It's, it's an upgrade for my. Well, I'm just gonna do something else. It's an upgrade for one of the units. I don't know what the fuck it means. Maybe the Civilopedia's got a thing. Uh, zone. No. Zone. Zone of control. Mini combat units exert a zone of control, ZOC, over the tiles around them. When a unit moves into enemy ZOC with movement left over, its movement is stopped or it may attack. So you can, like, mm, intercept people as they move by? Well, I would think they'd be termed like Overwatch instead of exert zone of control. What's the unit that can that's you're you're it's saying to do the thing with? Machine gun. Uh, is it standing next to you? You're at peacetime with? No, it's just standing next to Calais. I don't know. I don't know what that promotion means. So they don't have a unit in the city. Can I just walk into it now? Oh no, they must have. You no, know, they must have got another unit. Okay. Um, you. Whoever gets time. My God. No, no. 
Oh, no. All right, well, thank you for watching, everybody. This Civilization Six series where we complain more about Hearts of Iron 4. Well, Ben complains about it. I'm just kind of watching him. <laughs> Why don't you get pontificate about mm -hmm. our for is what's happening there? If you're enjoying the series, please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.